All right, we got the Kuat SR, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, open the box. And the piston is already working. Check it out. It comes assembled, and looks pretty well protected for shipping. And wow, looks really nice. So, go ahead, press the button. Pop it up. This is gonna be nice to use if it works well. So let's see. Uh, these are marked on this side. So the holes are only marked on one side, just like the piston pro or X. The same thing that this thing is. Got the lock in the middle for the cable, I'm guessing. Got a little registration card or some goodies. Hmm. Yeah, got some goodies, some information. Cool. I'm going to be putting it on my uh, Corolla hatchback. Just got back from Mammoth. And this was waiting for me. So um, we're going to use the T slots on the factory rack and, and get this thing installed. So I just went and grabbed this box out of the bigger box, and it comes with a nice little bag, a nice little Kuat branded bag, it's a nice touch, I mean, it's a $500 rack, so I feel like it's definitely warranted, but let me open this guy up, and this thing's the mounting hardware. So, these are the uh, plates, and these do feel pretty, pretty nice and hefty. I'm guessing these are aluminum. I feel like... <clears throat> yeah, these are CNC aluminum. Like 6061. Oh, some good stuff, got the brush finish. Looks kind of nice. It's going to give a good uh, presence to, you know, the black car, so, yeah, let's get these on. Alright, here we are about a half an hour later. Um, got the Kuat installed. The lighting's pretty bad, so I'm going to show it to you in the daytime. Well, hell, D campers. So here we've got the uh, rack installed. Lighting's a little better today, um, but I did want to show that... We've got these clamps right here. Um, they're just very simple. You just pull down, the arm releases. It goes up very little. Then you can release the piston. The piston releases the entire thing. And then one thing I noticed is that this isn't the entire throw of the uh, arm. It actually does move a little farther. So if your bike is a little longer wheelbase, like my Kinevo, you can see that um, it does move a little bit more, but once you start engaging, it'll uh, it'll stay where you leave it. Um, so far, I've used this on three different bikes. The Levo SL worked great. Canevo SL, a little long, but still worked great. And then um, my road bike, which is a 48 in size, so it's a little bit short of a wheelbase. But um, <clears throat> here, I'll show you. With these... Uh, With these, um, like, I guess, these stanchions, I guess you'd call it. I don't know, it's a cross arm. That sets the height of the wheel that it will accept. And with the 700C wheels, they fit right up in that little notch. So I'm sure it'll be great for road bikes and gravel bikes um, in general. And it feels very secure when the bike's on there. Um, uh, maybe, I don't know, it's probably in the same same um in the same ballpark as far as like lateral stiffness as my sidearm the main difference being that you have front and rear wheels um as opposed to just the front so um i mean i run my sidearm without even without a, a strap on the back i literally just set the wheel in there and then um just let it ride so long as I'm not doing anything crazy or hitting any crazy bumps, I shouldn't have any issues. But I don't even have to worry about that with the Kuat. So 
so far so good um, there's a one note that I like to make about the actual driving experience um, due to one of these faces I think it's I don't know if it's if it's this little guy right here the corner of the actual rack or if it's the way that it mounts with the plate but there is a slight whistling sound at speed at speed being anything over 50 um, I haven't taken this thing triple digits yet like I have the sidearm but I'm sure it'll be fine um, so far so good it feels very solid um, especially with the uh, I went I went and did the uh, T mount the T T slot mount um, instead of going around the entire bar I just think it looks way cleaner and so yeah so far so good but um, the experience I, it's been like maybe what a week since I made that last video and would recommend so far so good